Hello everyone. In the last episode, Rob told you about the electric diagram of the battery conversion and he showed you how he prepared the boat by running all the wires from front to back. And now, the conclusion. This is very flexible. I can just bend it very easily. Not that I need to do that, but it's, it's possible. Well, it makes it easier to install, I think. Yeah. difference between those cells uh, were a bit high according to the uh, battery BMS, the daily BMS, and it was a range of sometimes about 30 millivolts, which is quite a lot. So I installed this additional balancer, it's called it's a QUCC, which has good reviews, like everywhere. I installed it, the difference is uh, decreased a little bit but still it wasn't very good but I did not trust the connections here between the cells and all the, the wires to the PMS um, so I decided to double check it with the simple uh, multimeter and when I checked it I found out that the difference between, between the cells were well really non-existing. Uh, at the moment uh, the cells all read the same voltage within the millivolt and it is now 3.328 volts which is fine but they all have the, the exact same value so um, yeah the BMS does something else or is not connected very good to all the cells so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to disconnect all the wires one by one I'm going to clean it with some sandpaper then I'm going to clean it with some degrease material I don't know what I have to see it like alcohol or something or thinner or whatever and then I'm going to apply this um, silver containing uh, conductive grease to it and then I'm going to check it again to see if the BMS um, well, has better values so um, yeah that's it
So as you can see, there's a there are a lot connect a lot of connectors going to this terminal. One of them is the system negative, which goes to the BMS, and the other one goes to the uh, BMS also, which is the uh, wire that will measure the voltage of the cell. And there's the additional one that goes to the uh, QUCC uh, BMS. So there's three wires to this connector. So yeah, quite a lot, but it fits. So yeah, so I applied uh, some of the, um, let's call it silver grease to it. And now I'm going to reconnect it all and hope for better results for this particular cell. So. There we go. <coughs> one down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to go. previous version of this installation and most of them can go but I need to figure out which ones but for now I'll just leave it here there's no no chance that they no. cause any problems or no, no, no they're all uh, uh, not connected anywhere okay yeah. So everything looks fine with the engine charging, the new batteries. No slipping belt. No. no overheating alternator all overheating, yeah. <laughs> okay, almost touched it. Running for about 15 minutes now, I guess, not sure. But everything looks fine. Of course, there's an app, so I can check. So that's pretty satisfying. Stopped off charging the uh, lithium bank from the uh, engine battery and it all looks fine. You can see that the uh, input voltage is 13.5 and the uh, output voltage is 13.8, which uh, is also reflected by this screen. So here it says 13.5 for the lithium bank, but that's because the loss on the uh, on the cables, I guess. Uh, five meters of cables in between there, so yeah, no bit of loss. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, 
This is the first test with the Nespresso machine to see if it really works from the inverter. Okay, we are now taking about 6 amps because the, uh, the heater is on and the uh, fridge is on as well. So I'm going to switch it on now and there will either be an explosion or it will work. It's on. Okay, 100 amps. Ooh, that's a lot. Put in the cup. Seems to work. I see no smoke anywhere. I don't smell anything heating up. Huh. Works. Yeah. Do we see something happening here on the monitor? Or? Well, yeah, well, I see that it's uh, taking a lot of power, but other than that, nothing special. Yeah, I think I, uh, I need to press the cam because I, uh, I emptied the, uh, the water tank when we uh, left home. But I think I need to uh, push it again. It was taking about 1300 watts or something. Which is okay. I hey, voila, we <laughs> have coffee. Oh. Cheers! <laughs> it's hot. Oh. I'm not gonna take a sip for the camera now. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> cool. And this was the conclusion of our lithium battery trilogy. We hope you liked it. If you have any questions or remarks, please feel free to leave a comment below. And in the next episode, we will go sailing again. Thanks for watching everyone. Please leave a comment below and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. You can subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss it when a new episode is out. Bye!